Hello, Tiago Rios. Let's uh, let's try and do this. Um, let's see here. Mm, like this. Um, okay. I'm just setting up some some IDs here. So we now have two IDs here, uh, like in your unwrap, uh, one mesh, one material. Uh, um, so let's see here. Uh, first of all, we need a standard surface. <coughs> let's plop some small viewport. Um, there, there. Okay. Um, let's build a box here that is reflecting uh, like this. Okay. So, and uh, essentially, uh, what you want is that this face polygon here uh, has one uh, float value for the glossiness and this one has another with, with uh, just a single material. This is pretty easy to do um, because we already assigned material IDs uh, 1 and 2 so we already generated uh, the channel necessary um, and we can call the channel directly MT L, big I, B, D, big D, material I, D. There we go. You see, this one becomes black and white. All right. Um, so, this is just a fundamental thing. We are going to pop this information into an index of the switch RGBA should return black because both slots are, are black but we are going with red and green to see it in action all right so we have the material ID in the index and we have uh, a couple of default uh, colors piped to the base color um, so we established some kind of uh, differentiation Let's um, let's uh, hook up to the um, to the roughness. Uh, the roughness is a float. Um, oh, I'm going to go like this. So we're sourcing the material ID to switch RGBA, and uh, just for safe measures we're going to convert it to a float a grayscale and make sure it's a um uh, it's a float entering the shader all right um so um we'll just reset these two guys i don't know if you noticed but reflection clear up here um, and we want a float so this float is zero we pipe this one to the first index and we copy it out and pipe it to the second so uh, this is now our shader um, we build one for for visual that's your bitmaps or whatever and you use the same driver the material ID uh, for the uh, diffuse and for the uh, glassiness so these are zero and zero and if everything is good we should be able to um, to pop this one and as you can see 
it's more glass here than over here and if we pick the other one there I can like do whatever I want and it does not affect the other one over here um, so yeah use a couple of floats and I switch RGBA controlled by material ID Well, that's it. You got complete control over your IDs, and um, because essentially this is your main route, uh, your, your 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 source of information, and so we can extract that to to array lists, and um, and manipulate it like you want. Well, let's see it in uh, slightly bigger here. So yeah, it should be more clear that this is definitely more glossy than than this one over here. And um, well, maybe it's better to go here. Thing, ah oh, there, there, there. So that's it. Enjoy.